Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Steph, I'm The Secret Slob. Welcome to my channel. Today is May 1st and I am so, so, so excited for today's video because if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have a very special place in my heart for the person who I'm doing the collab with and you probably read the title, it's Diane in Denmark. Last year we started doing a first of the month video series together. Just every first of the month we would do something different and I really enjoyed it. And then I got pregnant and I was tired and sick and then I had the brand new baby and then we had this COVID crisis going on which is still ongoing and so we've kind of put it on the back burner but we are back. So let's back up a couple seconds. Two years ago I was a secret slob. That's where the name of this channel came from. I had a toddler, I had a brand new baby, my youngest daughter. I was overwhelmed, my house was a mess, I was a mess. I could barely get dressed in the morning. At one point, I didn't have a shower for 10 days. It was disgusting, but like I say, I was so disorganized and I probably had a little bit of postpartum depression that I wasn't dealing with because I don't know, I was probably just too busy dealing with my toddler and my new baby. And my mom came to visit me and said, you know, we've got to implement some routines here for you and your life. You cannot go on like this. So she got me onto YouTube and showed me Diane in Denmark and this fly lady system that she uses to keep her life on track and organized. And I immediately felt like this was going to be the thing for me. So I implemented it right away. I started this YouTube channel for accountability for myself and somehow she got wind of that and we got in touch and we became friends. I still look to her as the person who really saved me from the chaos that I was in and I have so much respect for her and she is my role model, my favorite YouTuber. I know if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you've heard me mention her. So that is the Diane in Denmark slash secret slob story. She's a super awesome lady. Definitely check out her channel and she's gonna do the same video as me today. So back to our May video, May 1st, we are going to make the most of May. If you are like me, you are stuck in self-isolation, staying home, and maybe you've been getting a lot done, maybe you've been watching a lot of Netflix, that's okay. Whatever works for you to get you through this crisis works for you. But this month, Diane challenged me, and now I am challenging you to make the most of May. Pick three things that you're gonna focus on. They can be small, they can be big, they can be hard, they can be fun, whatever. Pick three things you wanna focus on this month. So most of us are stuck in self-isolation, and so I thought I would choose three things that are very self-isolation friendly. They are baking, gardening, and decluttering. So my first number one thing is baking. My all-time favorite food is cinnamon buns. But here's the kicker. I don't know how to make cinnamon buns. How crazy is that? I can't even make my own favorite food. One of my goals from this year was to learn to make cinnamon buns. And not only that, I am going to find the ultimate recipe. So people have been sending me their cinnamon bun recipes since January when I first posted my list of goals. And I've got a few that I'm going to try out, but I'm going to go for it all in. I'm going to make a video about it and I'm going to find the greatest cinnamon bun recipe of all time. So that's the first thing I'm going to do to make the most of May. Number two, gardening. Anybody else getting a little bit more interested in flowers and plants than you have been? This year, one of my goals was to plant more vegetables. And last year, because I was pregnant and so sick, I didn't do anything in my garden. So my yard's a bit of a mess. That's okay. This year I have the energy and hey, I've got the time. I'm home all day. I'm gonna really focus on my garden. So because it's still super cold here, I live in Northern Canada. Yes, Canada is North. And then think about the North part of Canada, that's where I live. It's still cold, we can't plant flowers or plants until the end of May or June even, because it still freezes at night. So my goal is to get my garden all ready for planting. I'm gonna have my beds done, I'm gonna edge my lawn, I'm gonna rake my lawn, just get outside. And another one of my goals that I always have ongoing is get outside every day, so this will help with that. And my last one, it's kind of a big job, but it's gotta get done. This year, in May, every single day, I am going to declutter 
a drawer or a cupboard in my house until I have gone through every drawer and cupboard in my house. And fun fact, I did count them all. There are 111 drawers and cupboards. So I'm going to go through 111 drawers and cupboards. Maybe I'll do three a day. Maybe one day I'll get excited and do 10. But by the end of May, I will have gone through all of them. I think it's important to do every year, kind of just go through your house, see where everything is, find old things, throw away old things, just do a big declutter. So those are my three things I'm doing this month to make the most of May. I am going to find the perfect cinnamon bun recipe. I'm going to get my garden all ready for planting and I'm gonna declutter every single cupboard and drawer in my whole house. Now that I say it out loud, it feels like a really big job, but that's okay. I've got lots of time. I'm here all day. My kids love to help me, so I'm gonna do it. I really want to know what you are going to do this month to make the most of May. Please don't feel like you have to take on something huge or overwhelm yourself with three massive tasks. Try to pick a couple of fun things and maybe a big one. There are so many great ideas out there. Make sure you share yours with me below in the comments and then head over to Diane's channel and check out hers. I'm sure they're going to be amazing. She is the busiest, most awesome lady. She swims naked in the ocean every single day in the winter too. So yeah, I'm sure hers are gonna be outrageous and awesome. I can't wait to see what they are. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy May 1st. Make sure you drop those below and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.